I got out of class early today and Cassidy is at an interview for her major. She has no idea that I'm home. She's gonna be home really soon. So I'm gonna scare her. Okay, she just got home. <laughs> Where's the car? I thought you were gonna scream. Nope. I parked it over behind there so you wouldn't oh see gosh. it. <laughs> Do any of you guys watch New Girl? We do. Schmidt here, Max Greenfield, is going to be speaking at our school today and we're so excited we get to see him in real life. Oh dang. Holy cow, it's packed. The lead role of Schmidt in the final <laughs> Busy, busy schedule. You got a lot of stuff going on. You want to come tell us what you're I doing? I wanted to come to Utah and hang with you guys. Yeah! yeah. Uh, that's actually true. Uh, yeah, I, look, I, 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 lo I love doing these things. Um, I, I really do. I, I, I think what you guys do here as students, I look, I tried to go to college. It did not work. <laughs> So you've now twice made a joke, but not really a joke, where you've said that New Girl is a thing, and Schmidt is a thing, and and you've had an Emmy nomination? Sure. You've had several nominations. What's that like to go from just this, this brand new thing to overnight success? Um, it's very validating, and I hope that everyone in this room to experience some sort of version of that in their life. Um, and what I mean by validating is that, you know, you go through everything that I talked about earlier, which is this kind of, this struggle and, and you know, being told no over and over and over again. And it starts to really get in your head. And you don't want it to, because there's another voice in your head telling you, Swear that you're good at this. <laughs> and you really go back and forth, and the longer it takes for you to have a moment like that, the longer that argument lasts in your head, and the sadder you become as a human being. Uh, uh, but uh, but yeah, it was really validating. It was, it's, a, it's, a nice, it's a nice moment, and I think when you take it in in the right way, which I feel like I did. Uh, it's just that. Right? It's a night, it's just a very nice moment to say like, okay, you were right. This worked out. Now let's keep just doing it, because that's what you enjoy. Dumbest boy in school, I feel like, was an improv from Jake Johnson. Because Jake and I, <laughs> Jake, and, Jake and I, uh, when one of us can't read something at a table read. Because sometimes we'll get to a table read and like we had we'll ju just got the script and, and the two of us will look at each other and go, oh no. It means that one of us is gonna like blow a line and then we're gonna get nervous and then it's gonna seem like we can't read. 
<laughs> and instead of being there for one of one another when that happens, either one of us will just go, look at this idiot! <laughs> By the way, the whole studio and network is sitting there's like cut off. It's like the first four rows is sitting in front of us as we read these episodes. <laughs> this happens more so than not. You idiots! Look at he can't read everyone! <laughs> I don't think there's a single thing that Jake Johnson can say to me in my life at this point that would ever offend me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hi. Cody. Hi. Um, do you just have any um, advice for aspiring comedians? My advice for aspiring comedians would be to, uh, in all seriousness, just don't, uh, just fail a bunch. <laughs> just fail and fail and fail and fail until you just it, you become immune to it. Um, because then you won't care, and then you're on a set and you fail constantly, and you're just, uh, I mean, you just keep going until something works, and you go, aha, I got it, and then you move on, and that's it. And then you succeed enough times, and you start to realize, like, what works, and then you start putting all that together. Thank you. Okay, I just have a question. Will you sing the I Built This video? Jake! Hey! What's up? Just uh, sending in some picture IDs and birth certificates for Sage. Oh yeah, did we tell you guys that Jake is actually coming to sell with us this summer? It's gonna be a whole summer of awesome activities and hard work. We're going to this place called Savers. It's kind of like Goodwill or the DI. People bring stuff to sell here. It's kind of like a donation thing. The game is who can find the craziest thing. Ready, right, so go. Go. <laughs> I'm adding this to my pile of crazy things. Speaker backpack. What? I'm Are schooling you, you guys. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Chilling. I just always wanted to be this close to cold. Yeah, let's try and walk. <laughs> you gotta go every other. No way, this is way faster. So here's my workout for today. <laughs> Hashtag swag. I can't find Cassidy anywhere. Cassidy. Whoa, golf clubs. Where the heck is she? What'd you find? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, money. You're supposed to pick it up. Oh, there you go. Ah. Let's see what you got. I definitely have the winner. You ready? Ready. You take one guess what you think it is. Mmm. A coffee maker. Jared Cassidy, what are you guys doing here? Oh <laughs> what the heck? How about a toaster? No There's way. Beats. Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Alright, here's a glance over all of the stuff that we found. Speaker backpack. Jake found this lovely painting of this girl with a tear. It's oh, not she, a painting, it's a picture. She's crying. She is crying. She is crying. <laughs> There's a cool bird. My briefcase. Jared's whatever that is. Thing. And my personal favorite, Dwight Schrute. 
bobblehead with the coolest shirt ever. Comment down below your favorite. We're having a contest, so help us out. So Jake had this really good idea that we should all buy each other shirts and we would have to wear them for the rest of the day. Had to be less than four dollars. We found some great shirts. Jake bought Cassidy this shirt. <laughs> I bought Colby this shirt. <laughs> Dino Island. Cassidy bought me this shirt. And then Colby bought Jake this shirt. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even the main stars of the TV show. <laughs> it's got like Drake and Josh's dad. Uh, Mr. Mosby. <laughs> it even has to say their names it's on it. It's, it's like the side characters in all the old good Disney shows. <laughs> Jake, yours is the best. Yep, so glad I came up with this idea. <laughs> so does that mean I won? And the winner is Colby! <laughs> How's the view from up there? It's beautiful. Wanna see? Oh.